Hello gamers, and welcome to the second episode of Quick View, where I skip the detailed specifics and go straight to the pros, the cons, and finish with my final verdict. For this episode, we'll look at Star Fox Zero. No, Star Fox Guard will not be part of Quick View. Let's get started. First up, the pros. Star Fox Zero is filled with nostalgia and is a treat to those who played Star Fox on the Super Nintendo and Star Fox 64. The replay value for the story mode in this game is fantastic. Collectibles are great here as they give you another reason to redo levels. Except for Zonus and maybe another planet, the visuals are really good. The music is as good as you can expect from a Star Fox game, which means it's awesome. The on-rails aspect of the game is some of the best the series has to offer. This goes for the R-Wing and Landmaster. The amiibo support feels nostalgic and is pretty cool. The boss battles are very Star Fox-like and are really fun. Next up, the cons. The controls are awful. Now for this I want to be clear, motion controls are not the issue in this game. It's the implementation of the motion controls, and even the overall controls that's the problem. Although this is part of the controls, shifting from the TV to the gamepad is not fun. There are less planets featured in Star Fox Zero than Star Fox 64. Competitive multiplayer would have been perfect here, but alas, it's missing in action. Every now and then, the game's frame rate noticeably goes below 30 frames per second. For this one, it depends how lucky you are. Sadly, I was not. Zonus was not the best mission. Visuals were not so good and the gyro wing felt repetitive. Character voices will only come out of the gamepad speakers. The final verdict. Star Fox Zero is a terrific game that's ultimately held back by its bad controls. Sometimes you'll notice the game being difficult, but then you'll realize it's because of the bad controls, especially during boss battles. If an update were to come out to fine-tune the controls, then I would recommend Star Fox Zero to everyone. As it stands now, I'll only recommend it to the die-hard Star Fox fans who were in years of anticipation for the revival of Star Fox. I am one of those fans, and frankly, controls aside, this game rocks. It's not perfect, it's not amazing, but it is a good game. Thanks for tuning in to my second episode of Quick View, and please feel free to agree or disagree in the comments below. Take care you Nintendo fans and all around gamers. Enjoy gaming. Guard out.